Hey everybody, Hi Lord Tamerlane with more Obscurities and Miniature. Today we are going back to Warhammer Underworlds and we're going to be checking out the Night Vault with Yolthari's Guardians. So we've got the fancy crazy tree spirits going here today. We've got a group of four that I am probably not going to be able to do anywhere near as nice a paint job on. But nevertheless, I'm going to give it a try. Give it that old. Oh, just destroy the box in the process. All right. I ain't editing this out either. This is just, let's watch me. Ah! And it is done. So what do we got here besides a bunch of wispy, wavy, elfy parts and trees and weeds and roots? So just like about all of the Warhammer Underworlds war bands that I've put together. You do have two sprues and super nicely detailed bases. Those are really nice. I haven't actually built any of the tree revenants. I have always wanted to and I am very keenly eyeing that loon curse box and trying to convince myself not to buy it but these guys are not helping. It's crazy the level of detail that we're getting out of models these days with just all these individual branches and leaves all over it. I mean, that's just crazy. I've built a few of the other models in the Sylvaneth line, but nothing at this size. I've done like the Tree Lord and the Draka or whatever it's called and the Branch, which obviously you've seen the video, which I should still have there. I don't know where I put her, so I can't paint her, but anyway... So yeah, I do like the little bugs. You know what? It's almost tempting to pick up another box of these, especially once they release them without all the Shade Spire junk. So they have this kind of a basic, easy-to-build Warhammer attachment and snatch some of these extra bugs. I don't see a lot of extra bugs getting sold with the bit sellers, and I do like that little flying guy. I didn't notice him. These are pretty cool models. Instructions. Maybe we'll look at them, and then... As always with Shade Spire stuff, you've got a little blurb about the actual warband, and then you have all of the cards that you're going to need. So I'm going to grab those pliers and some... You know what? I don't even think I need any glue. What size base are those? These all look like about 32 millimeter bases. Let's see. 25. That's definitely bigger. Do they make 30s? Huh. Maybe they're 30 millimeter bases. It's a War Games exclusive female fallen. Anyway. Here, let's see. Maybe they're 32. I don't know. I'll have to grab some other GW stuff and see what they have to say. I'm going to grab some clippers and glue like I was already rambling about, and we're going to get them built. So I'm going to stop talking now. Alright, we've got Yothari's Guardians all put together and ready for some paint. I don't actually know their names because I haven't bothered opening the cards yet because I figure I'll do that once I actually have some models ready to play with. So, a couple of quick observations. I haven't actually built any of the revenants that the Sylvaneth have, so this is my first real take on them. I don't think they all have the branches. I really do like that. They're really dynamic in how they're on these bases, and there's just a lot going on on the bases as well. So if you're into the scenic stuff... Very nice. You'll notice that I did not really bother to put them all the way on the base. I don't like attaching everything completely because I'm going to pull it all apart anyways in order to get at all those little nooks and crannies. One nice thing, you have to remember these are all push fit models, is that the spirit part of the revenants are all going to be easily taken off for ease of access. So if you're going to paint all of the tree parts at once, it should not pose much of a problem. And then this guy, I think it's a guy, is probably just going to need some serious time in pieces in order to really get him done correctly. But thankfully, again, <clears throat> most of these parts are detachable, except his little bug friend here uh, is actually attached to the brambles and I believe the hair as well. It's all kind of one piece. This figure itself probably was the most difficult to finally get together. It just came together at odd angles, and he's got these weird droopy potion token symbol things here hanging down that just wanted to get in the way, and I'm afraid I'm going to break them one of these days. <clears throat> Fingers crossed I don't. Then we have this guy with the weird life potion thing hanging out in his back, which I think is what stores the souls or something like that, but then again... The spirity part is nice and easily just taken off if you want to get to 
you know, big, broad strokes of painting. It's a lot easier that way. Something like that. I do love all the little bugs and living things that are hanging out on all these guys' bases. Very cool. Probably my favorite model is this guy with the big crazy horns. I would like to see more stuff like that. It's always nice to have kind of hero looking models. And again, we have his little flying friend as well. And his bark loincloth, which kind of looks like a throwback and nod to the tree lords or whatever they're called. The big tree dudes. I don't know. I haven't played Sylvanith, so I'm not really sure. Not sure how I'm going to paint them. I do have a painted Draka. I probably should maybe use that as an example. So that is Yotharni's Guardians. And where is my witch hunter friend? I don't even know. Shoot, he's missing. I'm going to have to go find him. do have my trusty space marine, at least, to give us like something of a decent idea of how big they are. They are quite big. And I, again, I don't have him all the way pushed onto his base. But you can see, I mean, just with the trees and the horns and the hair and the branches, he's just kind of going everywhere. They're, they're big figures. And I'm curious now as to whether or not the regular revenants are just as big. And with Loon Curse looming, ballooning right around the corner, it makes me quite tempted to see if I can pick up a box or two of the revenants for a reasonable price. I did enjoy building these guys, and I'm sure that I probably would enjoy building the actual revenant models as well. How I would build them, I have no idea. Because uh, <laughs> I probably wouldn't build an actual legit fair squad of anything, but that's just me. So... I'm going to keep my eyes peeled on those Loon Curse boxes and see if I can find any parts. And the new hero in that looks really cool anyways. But let's get back to the Lothari's Guardians. Again, cool little group. I have no idea how their rules play. They look like they have an interesting mix of both ranged with the archer and the mage, as well as our friend here with the big honking blade and our pull-arm armed friend who needs his arm back on his body there. Not too difficult to put together. Just be aware that, yeah, these branches are going to love to get snagged on things. But other than that, very cool set. If you're interested, check them out. This has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.